Welcome back to another episode. As I was saying, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. It is episode four, and today we're going to be working on a iron farm, which location I think we'll place right there. So that is the goal for today's episode: is the iron farm. We also got some stuff that we need to do to finish up, like this cave I've been putting off for a while. Same thing with the bridge, we gotta get those things in place, but that is not the main goal. The main goal is for the iron farm to be built right behind us. And one more thing we need to complete in today's episode also is the interior. And also find a place for the enchanting table. You know why? We need some better gear. We need enchantments and all that fun stuff. So uh, let's get to work here. If you didn't know, we built that thing in the last episode. The fish tank. Which was very enjoyable. I liked building it a lot. It was a bit tricky at first, but I found a process. Just wanted to let you know what we did in the last episode. First things first, I think we're going to work on the interior right here. An idea that was suggested in the comments from last video, I believe, is that we have a floor up here and have the enchantment table set up there, which is not a bad idea, and I think I'm going to do that. So we'll do something like that. And then like have some vertical details on the sides and bits like bookshelves and, and I'll see what I can come up also. So it's going to be a, a bit of a learning process because I don't really do vertical detailing inside interior vertical de detailing, whatever it is called. That was, that was tricky to say, but um, yeah, we'll give it a shot. So this is our room for our enchanting table. I did a little decoration like the barrel, a pot, and a flower. And then we're going to have like books there all the way around there. And it will start going up behind these windows. So the bookshelves are not blocking the windows. But it keeps going up. And then I'm thinking we could do like some shelves up top. Maybe have some chains coming down so they're like hanging shelves. So those kind of decorations should tie this room together. Maybe some paintings and carpets. We'll see what else. So the enchanting table is coming to place. All we all we really need are the books, and yeah, some more books in there to add a bit more detail. But when I think of this room, I think of a magical room. So like we have the amethyst for the magical feeling, and some vegetation really makes things look nice. The hanging shelves and the enchantment table. I say it's a pretty good start because I'm not good at interiors and I just love how this is coming together already. So uh, let's, uh, let's finish it off to see the final bit. What is going on? Why are there so many sea turtles? Hold on, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? There's not even an ocean nearby. Oh wow, a jungle. 
you know, I was just roaming around exploring to get more leather for bookshelves, but we might find a temple. If we do, there might be in there a template, the jungle template, which that would be nice to get to in today's episode. I would like to see if we can find one. That would be, that would be nice. I will say, this is a nice break from the interior work. And, oh, look at that melons. Uh, anyways, this jungle is massive, so um, we got lots of work to do. Well, that was extremely lucky. There we are, the finished product. This took me forever to get all these books. Got the bookshelves, We've added some carpets. Another thing I thought of doing was adding cobwebs up here because they're like empty shelves. They'd be collecting dust and like spider cobwebs. And then more vegetation with the glow lichen and the finds really brings this place together and by far this has been my favorite interior design for a room now for some reason it won't let me enchant the third row that's because i had this all the way against the wall apparently you can't do that the enchanting table has to be like in the center which is kind of weird for it to actually work so once we get level 30 hopefully we can get some fortune 3 on our pickaxe so we can get more of these diamonds so like i said once we get fortune 3 we can get more diamonds so another interior trick i saw on my friend's youtube channel max d's which i'll leave links down below is that we can put our stuff on a armor stand and we can also encase it with glass having a piston right above it and then we just activate it and that's one piece one more and it should encase it that looks very nice so it might not be the best looking thing but we got lots of shells making it look very busy which i do like it doesn't have to be the most perfect thing after all it's just an interior there's not going to be really any use just it's just for looks and this is our bedroom which you've seen this before to finish off the tower we've completed this and we have completed our enchanting room which is my favorite room of the tower which is very nice i will say this tower is complete and if i want to add some details in the future i'll just do them off camera but that is all for detailing and finishing this tower all right now it's time to move on to the main goal of this video which is building a iron farm so let's clear a space for it right here all right we have cleared out a space for our iron farm but before we start on this iron farm i would like to bring the villagers first is a bit it's a bit weird i don't usually do this but i want to like build a safe house for the villagers it's not going to be the prettiest thing, but it's going to hold those villagers before we collect materials on that. Because I want to get these villagers done and ready to go. So we're going to do that next. And luck luckily for me, a village is over that way. It is not too far, so it shouldn't be a big deal to get those villagers. Huh. Villager acquired. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bud. No, don't run away. Come on. Villager number two acquired. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, they're deadly. Fight each other, please. Alright, so we got our villagers. We need to start breeding them. So I'm going to build a little area right here to breed those villagers. Because we need about three villagers for this iron farm. So I'm going to get to work on that now. Alright, well, it's not the prettiest of things, but I got two villagers. I'm going to trade with them so they don't despawn. And I'm going to get like, two more beds so we can have three more for the iron farm. And the iron farm is just going to be very basic with three. And this is our very first trade on this world. What a deal. So while we wait on those villagers to make more villagers, we'll work on this bridge and this cave entrance. Well, since I've been waiting on the villagers, I've been working on these other projects like the bridge and then the cave, which looks very nice, except the cave has no back to it. So I'm gonna have to extend it out and kind of fix it up. But that's an off camera job. And I really like how this has turned out. And I would say we have completed all the things that we have not gotten to in the past episodes. So we're pretty much finished with everything. Now we can focus on one project at a time. Well, I was about to say we'll get started on the iron farm, but there he is. There's the iron golem. I say farm complete. Now I'm just kidding. So what should really finish this farm off now is trying to spawn prove it. So now these guys, like right now, escape from their pit. So that is what I'm going to work on. I think they're spawning right here. So I'm going to have to like dig all this out, which is going to be a lot of work. And I also think I need to fill up this huge space right here so they don't spawn. I don't think I've picked a great area for this place, but we'll make it work. So we have completed the iron farm. We finally are getting the iron that we need, which is going to help out in future projects. But right now, it is looking good. It's pretty simple. It just looks ugly right now. It's just a big hole in the ground. I'm thinking maybe we can add some structure. I don't know if it will bother the farm or anything. But I'm going to try to spawn proof it as much as I can. And build maybe something like a medieval structure. Like a little medieval house. I feel like that's kind of our theme. Because that kind of looks medieval. So does that. I don't know. Something like that will be nice to cover this little farm up. Because I just don't want to like accidentally walk in, you know. So uh, we'll collect some materials and get to work on that. So I got a little distracted. Um, instead of getting materials, I mined out this entire hill. Which is crazy because look at all that dirt, cobblestone, all the resources we gathered up from this little hill right here. And I discovered one of the biggest lava lakes I've ever seen in Minecraft. I mean like, I didn't know lava lakes could get so big on the surface. It's crazy. Now the reason I'm pointing this out is because I got sidetracked it and I'm running out of time and that's all I can do for today's episode but we have enough space for future projects and we'll get a like a house built around that iron farm right there so we can finish that up but we have to do that in the next episode so with that said, I'll see you guys in the next episode.